This is Dee Montgomery, and I am on the Family Fun 1.8 server with Lilybug. This is the village that we found yesterday. It was very congested, and Lily has taken out almost all of the little buildings that were all over everywhere, cleaned up the gardens, and fenced the whole thing in. And now we're ready for her to plant the garden and we'll build the platform for the villager breeding. Okay, Lily. Okay, well, as you can see, okay, well, as you can see I have already laid out my, my garden spot that for the villagers. And again, you have to have enough garden to support the number of villagers that you're going to have in the garden. Even though we only have 13 at the moment, uh, once the breeder platform has been built and it is activated, then we will have babies popping up everywhere. So what I've done is um, I wanted to give them a, a walk space around the garden so that they're not always standing in there. Um, in order to build the garden, um, you need a water source. Now a water source will actually take out, uh, will contribute up to uh, four blocks in either direction. So if I build four blocks this way and I build four blocks this way, you can see that they're going to have a, a path between the garden and the fence line in which they can actually walk. Now each one of these um, water sources you can do four blocks to. Right? So you can see that that's four blocks but if I go to this one and I build out four blocks, then they, they join up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually take and um, build my four blocks in either direction uh, from each of these water sources and then fill the whole thing in. So that's going to take just a little bit of time. And while I'm doing this, D. Montgomery can work on the breeder platform with the on and off switch so that it will actually, um, you can turn it on and off because there are going to be times when you need to turn that off so that you are not uh, constantly breeding villagers and you've got time enough to, uh, to sort them out and to find out what you have with each of your villagers. So I will hand it back to Montgomery at this point and she can go ahead and start on the, the breeding platform. The reason we're building, off of the we're building this off the tower is that Lily got this villager up here, so he's ready for us to use. And we did that yesterday. She brought him into this tower. Whoop. And we put vines up there. The ladder is kind of rough for him to get up. And we had a lot of trouble getting him through the hole and stay up there. But once we put the vines up, we didn't have any more trouble. So you just pull him up here. And then this is part of the tower. You get him on this, put a gate there so he has to stay put. And you're ready for him to go in a mine cart as soon as this tower is full. Now this is seven blocks above the garden. We've already measured it. And you have to be seven blocks up for it to work. So we're going to do a power rail and then seven regular rails. So there's one for the power rail. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you can either put a redstone block or you can build a place to put a redstone torch which is cheaper beside it. I'm going to do it that way. And then seven more. Now a power rail again. And you want this to come up so he's stopped. He can't go any farther than that. We'll do the same thing with the stopping block on this end of it once we get him up here. All right, we need 
one, two, three, four. We need four wooden buttons. I like the wooden ones on this because you can see them better. And they'll go under the redstone blocks. That side or this side. And the same way down here. I'll wait till I get the fence away before I do that one. All right. Now, the platform itself has to be three by three. So nine blocks. We'll go three out. Three, three, three. All right, one more row of three. Uh-oh, I'm crooked. I put too many over there. All right. Now, if this block or this button is too close to your doors, they're going to open and close the doors, and they'll be slamming all the time. will drive you crazy. So make sure your stopping block, now I've got too many on that side. Make sure your stopping block is far enough from the doors that it's not constantly open and closing, open and closing. All right, that was a sloppy way to do it. But we have a three by three platform up here now. We're going to put doors. Uh-oh, what did I do with my doors? We took a whole bunch off of these houses. Don't know where I put them. Lily, do you have doors? They're in the longhouse here. I'll get them for you. Up here on the top. The top chest. Yeah, 17 of them. We only need six. That's how many doors, That's come, how many out doors come out of this village. Wow. That was a lot of doors. Mm -hmm. All right. The easiest way to put the doors on is to stand on the end block. Face that direction. And then just do your A key to move over, W to move forward one, D to move to the right, and there's your six doors. Now, the villagers won't recognize this as a house unless you've got a roof. So we need, lovely, we need slabs and don't have them. Let me use the crafting table over here. All right, three cobblestone across gives you six, which is exactly what you need. And then place one on the back door by holding shift. And the space bar at the same time. Once you get that first one on, then you don't need to do all that shift stuff anymore. All right, so we have a roof of six. All starts even with the back of the platform. And this is where he'll stop. We could actually have put him one closer than that. Actually, I think I'm going to. Ah, last cobblestone. Okay. All right, this stone will stop him. Just before he gets to the doors, so he won't be up here slam bamming them all the time. It takes a long time flying. Buttons are quick if you're on the ground. Okay. So we'll take the power rail and butt it right up next to the stopping block. Where's my power rail? 
then we'll do seven regular rails. Is that four or three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the redstone has to be on this one. And the torch. And this is because with a villager in it, the minecart's only going to travel seven regular rails before it needs more power. So you go seven, put a power rail, go seven more and put another power rail. And this will need to be the power one here. All right, I'm not going to give it power yet because I got to get do funny my mine cart ready all right I got to place the mine cart under him and hope he doesn't fall off in the interim a little bit farther is that it no okay now I got you I think Once I get him to that other end, it's a piece of cake. Okay. So if I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll put the power rail there. This will be the stopping block. Well, I don't have another cobblestone. There's some. And the stopping block has got to be smack up to the power rail. All right, this doesn't even need to be connected back there anymore. We're done with that part. Put a cobblestone. Lily will pick it up. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. I got two buttons there. And right below this power rail, I need a button on each side. So I'll put one there. Put one there. All right. Now, that, when he's in this position, whoop, put the button in the wrong place. Again. When he's this close to the doors, they'll be making hearts and breeding. As soon as Lily feeds them something. And at the other end, he's too far away. So all the hearts will stop, and that'll be the end of the babies till you turn it back on. All right, the button goes on the block that the power rail is on. Like that. All right, we're going to send him back this way. And the breeder's off. We'll hit this button, and the breeding is on. Piece of cake. Once you get him in the silly mine cart. All right. Lily, how's the garden coming? Well, the garden is working fine. I'm just going to grow a few of the carrots. I'm well, the garden is working fine. So I'm just going to grow a few of the carrots. I'm getting some, some bone meal so that uh, I can grow some of them up before we put the, the villagers in here. Simply because the moment that they get in here, the the farmers will want to start mining, uh, farming all of these these carrots. Carrots I just find are an easier food source um, because if you use a fortune uh, pick on them, uh, you can get um, a lot more carrots than you ever will wheat. So. Um, it's an it's an easier source, and I just think it looks prettier in the garden. 
as they're growing. And here we go. We've already got some some carrots. How's the breeding platform coming? It's done. Oh, yay. He is ready. I I took it off of where we had it attached to the tower itself because we don't need the mm -hmm. tower anymore. It's fine just like it is. Oh, one important thing to, to mention is that the, the breeder does not have to be centered over the, the garden. It just has to be near the garden uh, at some point uh, because the, the villagers are going to, to, to want to know that that is an activation uh, for the, the breeding to begin. Uh, and then once it's turned on, if he's close enough to the, the villagers, then you will see little hearts pop up everywhere. And then once two of them are making hearts together, then you will see little babies pop up. And that's what you want, because you want to get as many babies as possible so that you can get the, the best enchantment book uh, and the best uh, the weapons and tools that you can get from the, the villagers themselves. So I have several of these now that have, have you want me to start and have carrots in them, and so I will start moving. Oh my goodness! We already have a baby. So you can see, uh, yeah, we have a baby. Goody. A baby uh, librarian right here. So that means that uh, that it is working. Uh, oh, uh, one important thing to to note is that I had them in this this quadrant over here with the little gardens because there is a farmer in here and while that we were working on the other parts he was farming this garden and feeding the the villagers if you do not have an area where that you can put them in to um, for a farmer to be actually feeding them you will have to feed them before that they will breed We'll bring them on through, and then we'll slam the gate. I think I've got all of them, or what's left. All right, gate is shut. All right. Uh, turn the farmers loose. All right, gate is shut. And uh, turning the farmers loose. I think I turned all mine loose. Yeah. And you can see the farmer is already down here, and he's already picking carrots. We have two farmers in here right now, three farmers, and they're already picking the carrots and replanting them. Uh, and what they do with uh, the carrots that they pick is that once they get so many, they'll start throwing them on the ground for the other villagers to actually pick up. Uh, when the villager has enough food, then they will actually breed. If you do not feed them um, as we did with the farmers in the, the wheat field over there, or you don't throw food out to them, they will not breed. So um, when Demont is ready, we are going to turn this on, and we should see little hearts pop up everywhere. All right, here goes. And I'm looking for some hearts. We know it's working because we already got a baby. We're we got. Working. We know it's working because we already got a baby. We got hearts. One on of them just is over there. doing hearts. They'll get cranked oh, up here in a minute. Now I see the hearts. Well, oh, there the we go. Now I see the hearts. And we got a couple of farmers there you go. Uh, making hearts at each other. And as you can see, they're they're face to face. Okay. Uh, when both of those are making hearts, then uh, you will see that in just a, a few seconds they'll both look down and once they've looked down that means that there's a baby in between them and they've they've produced a new villager well they're staring at each other but they're not making any hearts oh they just got they just got interrupted well, let's just see what happens we have another baby we already we have a baby Woo! we have a baby look I see him over here running around where, where, where? There you are. So we have a baby cleric over here. 
that we wasn't even watching, and he just kind of popped is. in. Look. Those carrots we are were, almost as we tall were, as he is. We were watching the wrong two farmers. Silly, silly. Hi, farmer. But if you'll notice that uh, we have some uh. that are standing in the garden and some But if you'll notice the that the uh, garden, we have some that are standing in the garden and some that are standing on the outside of the garden, um, I don't know what it is that makes them do that, okay? Um, but a lot of them will prefer to stand on the grass instead of in the garden. And I, they, they just keep going that way. They, they, they don't, and when they don't um, they prefer to stand on the garden at all. And, 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 garden and when, when they, they do, do, then they, they're not very productive. So you need to have space on and off the garden where that they can stand. Well, we got a librarian over here making hearts. We've got a farmer over here making hearts. Uh oh, we've, we've got, got two farmers, farmers over here making hearts, hearts. And, and we have, we have a baby library. librarian. Oh yeah, I see her white sleeves sticking out of the coats. Yeah, yeah. And see, nice. The farmer looked down and he threw her carrots. So she's going so to grow up in about 20 minutes. Uh, 20, minutes uh, 20 minutes of actual time, I think it is. And uh, he threw and, uh, her some more carrots. So. And those are the carrots. And those are the carrots that he picked out of the garden just now. So now once you get once you get babies in here because we've already looked at what all of these these villagers have okay uh, you want to be able to separate uh, your babies from the villagers uh, that you have already looked at uh, so that you know what they have and if you're going to keep them uh, or if you're going to use them as breeding stock you need to have a place to be able to put these uh, these new babies so that um, that you've got a chance to sort them out and see what's what's going on with them, um, and that is the reason for this product over here. Um, so it it doubled as not only uh, a feeding station to get them started, but it also doubles as a uh, a sorting station as well. And we have several we quadrant this off into the four different four different sections so that we've got places to, to put them uh, and then I've got a place to put uh, the garden so that we can grow sugar cane for the paper that you will need to trade with the librarians um, and then you've got wheat um, so that you can um, so that you can get wheat and carrots uh, so that you can breed uh, the pigs and the sheep and the cows so that you can get other things that you're going to need to trade with villagers to get your emeralds so that you can buy your enchantment books. More hearts. More hearts and we've only had it up approximately three minutes and we've got three babies so far. You're not going to get a baby a minute, but the more villagers you have, the more babies um, that you're going to produce. And if you get too many in this area, you will never have um, enough food in here for them to be able to harvest to, to get everybody. So as you can see, they, they've already uh, planted, uh, well, took up some carrots, and I see some wheat out here growing. So. They've had wheat seeds that they've gotten from the other place to put over here, but the majority of it will be carrots, um, which is uh, a much easier crop for them to 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 harvest. Oh no, he decided that he didn't want to to do that. He wants to to farm some more. So we started with 13, I believe. Maybe 14. And we've already gotten three babies out of the, the 14. And as you put more villagers in here uh, for your breeding stock, uh, the more babies that you will produce uh, 
in, in a short amount of time. Um, but be careful because when you get uh, 50 or so of them in here, you will be producing babies very quickly. And uh, it will be, uh, it can be overwhelming at times, uh, hence the on and off button for the breeder. You can turn it off while you get all the babies out so you can get them sorted. And sometimes you just need a break, you get so many. Because they will work you to death. Aren't they cute? Wish they'd grow up. All right, is that all we need to cover here, Lily? Uh, that's all we need at the moment. Uh, uh, that's all we need so at the moment. The um, so we've got the, the breeder up and going. Up and going. It is working. We know this. We've got hearts. We've got babies. And therefore, that this part, or this tutorial, I guess, right. is, oh. is at a close. Here's where we fixed the well. It's still deep, but they could get out by themselves now because we took the cobblestone off of the centers here. If I got any cobble left, yeah. You can also do this, so instead of bobbing around, they can stand in the water. If they get hot or something, they just jump in and climb out again, and they're fine. The other thing, Lily, tell them what this building does here, why we kept this one. Oh, the, the reason why that we kept this one outbuilding, uh, and I'm going to move the, the livestock out of here. These were the things that just kept popping in uh, into the village after I got it fenced in. Um, this is going to be a zombie curing station, okay? Uh, I haven't got it quite fixed yet, but uh, you can see that instead of a door, it has a gate on it. It also has an escape route for you, so if you're not flying, you can actually run up the ladder and escape this and then you would have to, to find you a way back down here so that you can um, the curable zombie village zombie um, that you can throw your potion and feed it the apple and it is safe from the sunlight in there so that it will never burn up um, that's a good way to get villagers as well um, and you can get some really nice uh, enchantment books and uh, tools and uh, armor from um, just curing zombies or your golden apples uh, to, to be able to, to cure them up and then you see what they have and and you got another villager for breeding or you've got uh, another villager for your trading center okay that should wrap it up no more new babies since we went over there Nope, things are quiet, but they definitely won't stay that way. Not for long. Not for long. Yep. So this is D. Montgomery and Lilybug on Family Fun Server. And thank you for watching. Bye.